Today we're going to talk about ICOs, how to spot an ICO scam. Check out if one in particular ICO review site, ICO Bench, and it starts now. Welcome YouTube to Allcoin Picks. First, I want to say thanks to all my subscribers. You guys are awesome. I know the crypto space has been super stressful. It's just been dipping lower and lower. So I really appreciate you guys sticking in there and watching my videos. Also, don't forget we have a Discord, a Telegram, Telegram a Twitter, and a Facebook. They're all in the description below. And also, I wanted to show you, we have a new logo if you haven't seen it yet. I personally love this. Jo Joshua, Stefanos, and Nate all had a hand in picking this one. I love this one. It's just awesome. The other one wasn't really as professional as I wanted, so I really like the direction we're going with this logo. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and let's get started. So our first article comes from ICO Bench, actually. So like I said, this one's going to be centered around ICO Bench, and it's building awareness of scam ICOs. So here it is. <laughs> so it first points out that the number of ICOs published on ICO Bench was around 1,600 in January when that, that's when this article was published, which I'm sure it's much, much more. If you look at any or Google any ICO, usually ICO Bench has covered them. So there's a list of tricks used by fraud ICOs. So you can see I have them listed here. So they hire a real agency so they can bring it down once the fraud is exposed. Then invite well-known expert from business and blockchain communities as advisors, causing them to lose credibility. And then they take photos and edit them to the point where Google image can't even distinguish anything about them. So you go look and they're not there. They use real people that have nothing to do with the project as team members, usually using the real name and the photo, which we've seen several times. They have no media publications on the site. And then they have postings of their listing sites as media partners before the project is even listed, which we know every ICO says, we can't tell you which exchange we're going to be on. So the good news is the community is working hard to expose these scams, but sometimes it's a little late for those early investors and they lose money. So it's something we really want to avoid. So we have a little bit more so we have more red flags from the ICOs. And of course, like I said, this is coming from ICO Bench. Team members photos are stock photos. The social media icons on their page, you can't click them. They're just an icon. I hate that. I've actually seen it several times. So the name doesn't match the person's gender. I haven't really seen this one very often. We have cartoon pictures instead of actual photos. Expert photos, they're using the wrong names for people that are supposedly experts in blockchain. And then they're naming their team members as person one or person two. This one I don't really see as often either. Then their LinkedIn profiles without pictures. Something I hate to see, it's almost like, oh, you just, you made this LinkedIn specifically for this ICO? What's going on there? Next, we have scam accusations on Bitcoin Talk or Reddit. That is a big red flag for me. A lot of times you will see people that have gone really in depth on their research, finding really big red flags. Next, we just talked about this. The Google image search shows the team members only, or their photo is only available on their ICO website. After that, promises of huge returns without any backup, Big Connect, right? <laughs> um, the domain has in hidden information. The logo or graphic elements are stolen from another project. Anytime there's something stolen from another project that's bad. So like the white paper, that is huge. We saw that with a few really big ICOs, actually. I think Tron and Dad, Dottie or something. Sorry, I, I can't remember such a long time ago, at least in the crypto world, right? So the project roadmap has milestones such as idea, the ICO start, ICO end, the token goes on exchange without any actual significant plans. So along with these other features, there's a few clear signs when something is about to get fishy. I really like this post from ICO Bench. It gives you a clear, at least the new investors, a clear indicator when you really got to do some more research and decide hey, this one might not be good to invest in. So of course, always do your own research when you are thinking, even thinking about investing in an ICO. Don't just blindly invest because an ICO review site gave it a 4.6 out of five or some YouTuber thinks it's amazing because they might be getting paid. This next one, and I will try to be quicker. I'm sorry for that, that long, <laughs> long video. Let me move this a little bit.
This one is buying ICO rating. So this article is from the CEO or co-founder of Athena, I think that's how you say it, which is an objective and independent rating agency that provides investors with trustworthy information and claims they consistently encounter non-transparent, dubious practices and scams with these ICOs. So what they did is they launched an investigation into ICO Bench. And of course, we were just talking about ICO Bench, right? It's one of the most well-known ICO rating platforms, and they claim you get ICO ratings from top investors and experts, which if you go on there, you can see there's different reviews from supposedly experts. So the evidence seems otherwise. Like I said, I'm gonna be quick. This is a very long article. I will have the links in the comments for to all three of these. So Basically, ICOs can purchase a top ranking in the ICO overview, be featured in the newsletter, and be positioned on profile pages of their competition while blocking the competition from appearing on their pages, depending on how much they pay. <laughs> so, like I said, fairly long article. I encourage you to read it. It's in the comments, and I'm just going to conclude it right here. It's super easy to buy ICO ratings from experts. The individuals who reached out to all, the, all, all Athena sorry if I am saying that wrong, can't necessarily be linked to the ICO bench from a legal perspective. And I'll show you some images of it in a, in a second. However, it's clear that ICO bench approves of this practice of buying ratings. This can easily fool new or inexperienced invest investors and actually hurt the crypto ecosystem in the long term by undermining the trust in the industry this is also part of the reason why we do not specifically list ICO bench in our personal ICO score sheet because I have been suspect of this payment for a long time. I mean, there's so many bad ICOs on ICO bench getting a 4.6 out of 5, which is ridiculous. In my opinion, like I said, it was obvious. So let me show you these pictures that are super interesting actually and very disappointing. So as you can see here, this is on ICO Bench. It's actually something I've seen on their website where you can pay for the premium campaign, premium strategy, or premium, premium spark. Basically, the more you pay, the more exposure you get. It doesn't matter how bad you are, and it's ridiculous. It should not be like that. And one of the pictures in the actual article that I have linked is right here. So this is the end of their conversation where he's like, okay, this is what we want. And guess what they did? They literally posted that exact message or comment in the ICO bench profile. Now, that is super sketchy. And of course, if you go on to that article, there's so much more conversation that you need to read just to see that it is not a reliable source. So please do your own research and really work with people, work with your friends, people that you know can help you do your research because it's hard to do it all by yourself. And that's usually why we reach out to people. Now, of course, we have an ICO score sheet and I try to be objective as, as I possibly can. I use as many people as I can in my Discord to make it objective and make sure that they are watching and, and really making sure we're objective. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to our next article. So our final one is an article that talks about an ICO advisor slash developer, what he learned from being part of an ICO. So this article comes from blockchain dev Michael Mulders of At The Ledger. So, so the first point is ICO bench is awful. <laughs> That's literally what he says. It actually, most of the ICO index sites are also bad. ICO bench shields projects if you have the money. They've had several scam ICOs which have very been that were actually positively reviewed because they had the money and they're they're still doing it even after the few scam ICOs that they've had. Next, there's creative scammers out there. So people are posing as popular YouTubers trying to receive funds for a video. I've actually had this happen to me where one of my members sent me an email or message telling me, look, someone is posing as you trying to get money for videos. This is ridiculously sad that these scammers try so hard to find whatever they can to get money. And <laughs> hopefully karma comes around and bites them in the ass, right? Next, we have the bottom line. So good projects, they have a soft and a hard cap. That shows that they want to actually accomplish something. They have a plan. They know much. They know how much they need. Then bad projects, they spend so much money on shilling their project with aggressive marketing, while proper projects use use cases to do the talking. So many projects are paying huge amounts of money for highly ranked reviews on top websites or from bigger YouTubers. For example, and I hate to do this because I usually like Superman, but we know, or there's a rumor out there that he received $80,000 worth of coins for Bitdegree, which is why he made that Udemy class, which 
is why he was so aggressively kicking members out of his group that thought the project was bad. So Supo, in my opinion, is like the ICO bench of YouTubers. Sorry, Supo. You're a shiller. I mean, <laughs> the whole crypto sphere knows it. The only people that don't are the people that aggressively follow you and are just blind. Next, YouTubers and websites like ICO Bench really only care about the money and they don't care about how good the project actually is. So basically watch out for those money hungry advertisers and, and YouTubers. And you can already tell, like I said, there's so many Reddit posts that show how some YouTubers, all they do is shill. Superman, perfect example, like I said, many times. So I wanna end it with our ICO score sheet. I feel like it's super objective, fair. We have worked very hard to make this as as objective as possible so you can also come into our discord again the, it's in the comments below or the description below where you can review this score sheet you can comment you can suggest different ways of grading the projects and how you think it should be reviewed we will actually take your considerations in and decide if it's actually worth it especially if you come in with a reason why you think it's great <laughs> i mean you should be doing that anyways we haven't really been as super active as we should be with this ICO score sheet just because ICOs have been doing so awful. So it's not the best investment right now, in my opinion, and the market's just been bad too. So the market sucks. <laughs> but I do plan on adding many more ratings very soon. Again, come to our Discord. Suggest, please, guys. We love your help. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.